Uh, uh, uh. Hey, da. Uh. Eat your food, mister. Uh, uh. All right, if you don't want it, put it in your napkin. Uh, Peter, uh, uh. put it in your napkin. Uh, put it in your napkin. Uh, I'm uh, not gonna... Uh, uh. You know, some people would be very happy to have this food, like John Goodman's family. Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Mom, why is the cable guy here? It's me, you guys, and I have something to tell you all. Mom, Dad, I am a lesbian. That is awesome. Peter, Meg, you are not a lesbian. You know, I don't care what you guys think. All my new lesbian friends accept me, and that's all that matters. Meg, you're my daughter. I would accept you if you were gay or blind or retarded, but you're not. You guys don't care about me and my struggle. I hate you. Oh, Meg, I think you're just trying to fit in by pretending to be something you're not. Like the time Peter pretended to be racist to get out of jury duty. Awful lot of honkies in here. There you are. Do you have any idea what time it is? Stewie was supposed to be in bed two hours ago. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he's, um, he's, he was right here, right next to me, like, four hours ago. What? Brian, you were supposed to watch him. <gasps> oh, my little sweetie. Hey, Brian, remember me? I'm the guy you left standing at the counter at McDonald's with a bag full of burgers. You know, it's funny. I tried to walk home, and, um... A lot of hungry deer walking around at this hour of the night. And, um, oh, here's where the story gets fun. Uh, you may have noticed I'm missing an ear. Managed to, uh, pull it out of the deer's mouth and put it in some ice I got at a 7-Eleven. So when you're ready to apologize, just talk into this cup. Ah, uh, Brian, this is inexcusable. Yeah, what if something had happened to Stewie? Yeah, my ear's in a cup. I guess that doesn't count. Hey, hey, I'm not the kid's babysitter, all right? I have my own life to live. You know, this is all because you've been hanging out with that Frank Sinatra Jr. I am gonna call his mother, Mia Farrow, and give her a piece of my mind. And you are gonna stop singing at that crazy club operator, Mia Farrow, please. You stay out of my life! <laughs> What the hell is happening to you? Yeah, uh, don't worry. I don't need to go to the hospital or anything. I'll just use this Mr. Potato.